All right, so I'm going to take your doubts in today's class. I've got certain questions um, that you guys maybe could not understand. I'm going to first of all take Shalini's question and um, we will all look at our screens, right? I've already sent you the paper. So this one uh, was from your previous year question paper. Look at it. What does it say? Let's figure out uh, the problem maybe that we are facing here. It says arrange the sentences P, Q, R, S given below in the appropriate order. Right. So we were discussing the other day the kind of uh, questions that we get. So this one falls in that category where they ask you to arrange the sentences. We have four options here and then uh, we have subsequent sub options based on these four statements. The first statement it says the infant girl also experiences herself as an identified with a mother as does the infant boy. Right. Q. Next statement it says because of her own gender identity the mother identifies with a girl child more than with her boy child. R. In relating to her daughter, she unconsciously replays many of the ambiguities and identifications she experienced with her own mother. And S. The mother thus often tends to relate to her daughter more as an extension of herself than as a separate person. All right, so based on these four statements, we have uh, four sub options. A. It says PQRS. B, it says S, P, R, Q, C, it says Q, R, S, P, and D, it says R, P, Q, S. So here, uh, we want to go back and maybe try remembering um, this feminist writer that we took in our previous classes called Nancy Shodroff and a work called Reproduction of Mothering. We were also trying to make a study of Nancy Chaudhry while we were looking at psychoanalytic criticism. Now, what does she say? What's her central idea like in the work? We'll go back and try recalling. And it is very much in sync with the question that is asked here. Um, so she says when a child takes birth, be it a boy or a girl, the first thing that happens to the child is his or her relationship with the mother how he identifies himself or herself with the mother. So if this little child is a girl, she absolutely identifies herself with the mother and then she grows up and she realizes, oh, this is a female world and I am a female myself. Maybe my experiences will be very similar to my mother's experiences. But the same child, when you see, when you realize that, you know, it's, it's a boy and not a girl here, you know, initially it is also attached with the mother, you know, it also identifies itself with the mother. But then as this child is boy, as he grows up, he realizes that his identity has got nothing to do with the mother. Yeah, he then starts to identify himself with the father instead. And then he realizes that he instead is not an extension of his mother, but his father. And so you realize how the world is different for a female, right? Or the female child realizes as she grows up how her experiences are going to be absolutely different. I mean, she, her experiences are not going to look like her brother or her father, but maybe more of an extension of her mother. And this is what the question says. Um, if we go back and look at the statements, what does it say? Uh, P. Uh, the infant girl also experiences herself as an identified with a mother as does the infant boy. So that's true. This is what we were discussing. But then if you look at next statement, which is Q, because of her own gender identity, the mother identifies with her girl child more than with a boy child, right? Because it's a girl. So the mother identifies more with the girl child. Then R, it says in relating to her daughter, she unconsciously replaced many of the ambiguities and identify, identifications she experienced with her own mother. So coming from a mother to a mother and then to her girl child like that, you know, it gets 
passed on generations after generations the same female experiences right and an s the mother thus often tends to relate to her daughter more as an extension of herself than as a separate person and finally p you know how it uh, correlates with all the other three statements that is q r s the infant girl also in turn we were talking about the mother's experiences in q um, in statement q in statement r in statement s and then we finally go on to talk about the infant girl's experience you know the latter's experience finally in the last statement that is p which is that the infant girl also experiences herself as an identified with her mother as does the infant boy. So QRSP is the correct answer here. Look at the question. It says fill in the blanks by choosing the most appropriate word from among the options given below. The history of the Sanskrit language and its social dash has long been an object of interest to Sanskritists. For this is a dash history that holds considerable theoretical interest. The Sanskrit cosmopolis did not come into being dash with the appearance of the Sanskrit language. Its development was slow and dash. So you see you have four options and with every four options, every set of four options, you have uh, four sub options as well. And then you're supposed to cross check one correct uh, sub option. Um, so if we look at the first one, it says the history of the Sanskrit language and its social dash. You have four sub options here, sphere, control, experiment and prevarication. We are here supposed to cross check one correct answer. What does it say? The history of the Sanskrit language and its social dash. If you look at social sphere, okay, it somehow fits in social atmosphere, right? Social control, which is our um, next sub option, the history of Sanskrit language and its social control. So we're not talking about the control, but maybe the environment that it provided, right? And then it says social experiment, the history of the Sanskrit language and its social experiment. I mean, why do we even need to experiment that? Something that exists with proofs and logics in front of us. Okay, so experiment is wrong, control is wrong. And then option D, it says uh, prevarication. What is prevarication? It's, um, you know, a word used to refer to how you may avoid telling truth uh, in certain situations or how you may avoid certain situations by hiding something, right, like that. So again, that does not fit in. But then again, we go back to the blank. It says the history of the Sanskrit language and its social maybe atmosphere maybe environment that they're talking about so option a sphere the history of the sanskrit language and its social sphere has long been an object of interest what is the object of interest here the sanskrit environment okay or the sanskrit sphere the sanskrit world it has got nothing to do with your next three sub options control experiment or prevarication a okay sans uh, social sphere like that so now we move on to our um, next blank there is something that is um, related to literature how you understand okay how you put yourself in the situation and then you know cross check the correct answers like that so for this is a dash history again option d representative history does not again fit in Curious history, option A. For this is a curious history that holds considerable theoretical interest. You again have um, four options um, for the next blank. Curious, lopsided, exasperating and representative. Please uh, look into your screens. We have the whole statement there. I hope it's pretty clear to you. It says that, okay, the first one is sorted. The history of the Sanskrit language and its social sphere has long been an object of interest to Sanskritists. For this is a dash history. So this is a option number A, curious history. Okay, maybe right because 
you know you want to know about or you want to know more about the very language so curious may fit in but then we'll try to explore more option two it says lopsided we're talking about history here because i mean it says for this is a dash history lopsided is what it refers to something that is small in size sanskrit languages history is not small in size so we absolutely cross out this one this is not the correct option lopsided is wrong then uh, option c it says exasperating exasperating refers to annoying i mean no sanskrit history or the history of sanskrit is not annoying it's not irritating so we cross out this option also here you your understanding of words should also be clear how you read the paragraph you know that really really matters and then we look at our third option it says the sanskrit cosmopolis did not come into being dash with the appearance of the sanskrit language you have again four options did not come into being randomly option a randomly option two consecutively option three spontaneously and option d simultaneously so did not come into being simultaneously you know alongside did not come into being simultaneously with the appearance of the sanskrit language randomly is absolutely wrong so we're not fitting in randomly here the sanskrit cosmopolis did not come into being randomly no consecutively i mean successively maybe but um, may not be the most correct answer and then spontaneously no and simultaneously see the sun you, you have a comparison here the cosmopolis did not come into being simultaneously with the appearance of sanskrit language as in the language came first and then the cosmopolis this is what they are trying to talk about so there is this comparison that they are trying to draw and this is why we are cross checking simultaneously and uh, the last one is is its development was um, slow and dash slow and we have again four options rapid tentative vigorous exponential slow and so you you got to find out a synonym for slow why are you cross check checking something that is opposite of slow this is why your answer is wrong no while you're reading you have to keep your mind open and this is what i'm trying to talk about all the time while we're doing these practice sessions you have to keep your minds open you get you know five minutes and you have your question you have to be quick you have to be conscious your minds should be open and this is why we're doing it here in the live lectures otherwise you know it's very easy for me to give you these questions and then you sit along with the questions for whole day and night you know at your home that's of no use but we are doing here in the live live sessions in the live lectures so that you know you get your time and then quickly you do it and this is how you're going to solve them in the exam as well right this is why we're trying to master these things in the classes this is why we're taking so much pain you and i both correct so why are you cross checking something that is opposite of slow so its development was slow and rapid is wrong opposite tentative maybe vigorous no hard vigorous is what hard you know energy so no slow and what exponential exponential again vocabulary vocabulary problem exponential is rapid so slow and rapid no again wrong tentative option b tentative is uncertain slow and uncertain so you know how they match with each other this is what you know we need to really maybe work on so i think um, see the idea is if you're um, trying to solve something and you you get wrong answers you should not disappoint yourself because you know um the central idea behind doing this is to number one acknowledge ourselves okay so we have done something we have you know completed a part of theory we have completed a part of our criticism but then you know that's not all how do we then solve questions related to them and um, you know if we have something in front of us how do we then go about solving them how conscious we are while solving them you know so the idea is not to disappoint ourselves if we are not able to solve something it's okay you know the first thing is that we are at least able to acknowledge so step by step we are working on it 
So you acknowledge and then, you know, once you do more questions, once you practice or start practicing more questions here, then it will get better eventually, right? So now we move on and look at our next question. But um, before that, I gave you that round of questions from 20th century. Are you all done with it? Shall we first of all go about checking that first and then we move on taking more doubts, right? 